Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. It's a very good morning to be in the house of God. The first Sunday in the new year. And I just want to welcome you all who have joined us for worship this morning. For those of you who are here in the chapel, and the viewers on Facebook this morning, those who are streaming live with us, we welcome you to worship. We are coming to you from the Greater Portmore Tabernacle, located at 2 East Greater Portmore, St. Catherine. And we are here this morning to give God thanks and to give Him praise. As I said before, this is a new year and no better place to be than in the house of God. Many persons didn't make it to see the new year, but we are here this morning and we give God the honor and we give him the glory. We have come this far by faith and if we are thankful to God, let me just say praise the Lord. Praise, praise God. God. We are thankful to God this morning. You know, somebody sent me a clip of a loop news of some notable Jamaicans who died in 2020. And I went through, and when I counted the number, it was 45. And those were just persons who they classified as notable Jamaicans. Many more have died in 2020. But God has spared us, and we are here to give him thanks and praise. So I want to get in the attitude of worship, in the attitude of praise. And I'm going to call on the praise team to come at this time. And we'll sing some choruses while we worship God in our singing. Praise team. Praise the Lord. We praise the Lord. He is our God, a God that serves us. Welcome, viewers and friends, those who are tuning to the Greater Portmore Tabernacle Church this morning. Happy New Year, everybody! Come on, Happy New Year! Happy New Year. God is good! All the time! And all the time! Let me get something from the keyboard. Yes, man. A new year thing. Oh, yes. We are ready to praise God. And where is Mr. Juma? Hey. If the drum don't say amen, you know the drum make nice. Praise the Lord. Yes, man. The drum can make some nice now. Yes. Ready, 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 ready. You know, I, I need somebody beside me this morning. Come on, my dear sister Casey. Yes, you have to be here. Praise God. Blossom, blooming, and everything. Praise God. I should step in and come. Yes, she's a part of the praise team. Let me hear everybody in the physical space. Just stand and worship God, no man. 21, not true. Hey, Lord. We are in the year 2021. God is good. Look at God, beautiful people. Oh God, Hallelujah. bless Amen. the name of Jesus. Amen. The songwriter said, lift Jesus higher. Oh, praise the Lord, a little higher. Not true. We're going to give praises unto the King of Kings. And of course, he is our Father that we are here to give praise. And our pastor is not here, but one thing I know with our pastor, he always Tune in no matter what. No wonder why we have this type of platform. So he don't have to ask any question. He know what is happening. Live Jesus higher.
man. Yeah, man. You see this new year? Rest it. Now tell me now. You see this new year? We plan different things for the enemy. You see, we up here we know when the enemy will come. And we just shoot him with the glass to gun. That's how we sing and praise. You down there, you have to praise him and just get your victory. Viewers, you have to get your victory. Hey, you know, see what we are doing. We mash up the plan of the enemy this morning. 2021, a victory shall be ours. Clear the victory. Hallelujah. I've got my mind made up. And I won't turn back. Hallelujah. Praise God. We have come to the end of praise and hand over back to our moderator and sit there with your victory. When you're stepping out today, you're stepping out in victory. Praise God. Amen. Praise the Lord, church. Praise, praise God. God again, man. God. If you are alive and well, praise God. Praise the God. dead cannot praise him. Praise the song says, victory in Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we have the victory. Yeah. And when we stand in the name of Jesus, tell me who yes, can stand before us. Amen. For when we stand in the name of Jesus, we have the victory. Amen. And I will bless the Lord at all times. Amen. His prayer shall continually be in my mouth. Hallelujah. My soul doth magnify the Lord. Oh, I'm feeling yeah. good in Jesus today. Yeah. I'm rejoicing in Him. Yeah. I know the Savior. And I'm just honoring Him today. God, you are worthy. We want to continue worshiping God. We're going to seek God's face on behalf of others. The intercessory prayer will be done by our own deaconess hubs. I'm going to call her to come now and to present God's people before the throne of grace. Shall we pray? Praise God. Praise Him. God is good. And all the time, God is good. This morning, I just want to greet each and every one in the mighty and powerful name of Jesus Christ, our soon coming King. Greet all those who are viewing on live stream. As we come before the Lord on behalf of those who are sick, those who are sad, and those who have lost the love that they had. We just want to believe the Lord by faith this morning that whatever he says, that will go. And um, this morning on our prayer list, we have prayer for the teachers and students who will be going back out to face-to-face -to -face school. And also for our sister Nastasia who is having an headache. Najali, Najali who is having an headache. And for also... Sister Shawna Kay and her family. This morning, as we go to the Lord in prayer, I ask that we all pray together. You pray for me while I am praying for these people so that the Lord will have his way in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Our Father and our loving God, we want to thank you this morning for a beautiful day that you have made. It's a day that we have never seen before, God, one we'll never see again. Father God, we have said goodbye to 2020, Lord, and we are now in the year 2021. Father, we are blessed to be here. It's not the good that we have done while we are here, Lord, but thank you for your grace and for your mercies. Lord, you have kept us. And so, Lord, we appreciate you for who you are. We welcome you in this place, Lord. We welcome your presence, and even as I welcome you, I pray that you will cover me with your blood, with your Holy Spirit, Lord God. Dispatch your angels everywhere in this place. Sprinkle your blood, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father God, as I come to you, Lord God, I come to you on behalf of the students and teachers who will be going back out to face-to-face -to -face classes, Lord. I pray in the name of Jesus that, Lord, you will help us that, Lord, as we go, we will go with wisdom. Lord, we will go with the knowledge knowing that this thing, COVID, is still out there. And so we must practice what we have been taught. I pray, God, that you will touch each and every person, each and every child. Father God, each and every teacher, Lord Jesus. 
I pray, God, that you will cover them with your blood. I pray that your Holy Spirit will tabernacle with them. That your blood-stained banner will be over them, Lord, watching over them, Lord Jesus. Your angels will surround them daily. Father God, I pray that even in their traveling, Lord Jesus, go with them. I pray that you will keep them, you will preserve them, Lord. I pray that, Lord, you will put them under your subjection, Lord Jesus, and let your divine will be done. I pray, God, for the parents, Lord God, who will be sending out their kids. I pray, God, that they will show them the right way, the right direction. Help them, Lord Jesus, to instill in them, Almighty God, to know that, Jesus, they should still protect themselves and be mindful of the fact that there is a sickness out there that is not easy to contend with. And so, God, this morning, I place the parents, I place the students, I place the teachers, I place each and every one in your hands, almighty God. Even the bus drivers, Lord God, I put them before you because they have to travel on those buses, those taxis, almighty God, to get to and from school, Lord God. Continue to be with them. Continue to be their guide, their direction. Cover them with your blood continually. Cut and clear every destruction. Almighty God, from their path, even now, in the mighty and powerful name of Jesus. I just want to leave them all at the foot of the cross in your name, Jesus Christ. Father God, I put that jolly in front of you, Lord. Father God, you know her by name, by nature. You know everything that she's about, Almighty God. You know where that idiot come from, Lord. And we are sending it back to the sender right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We're asking for a, a healing right now, wherever she is. Mighty God, prayer has no distance. And Lord, right now, I pray that you will surround her with your angels. I pray that the healing touch of her hand that is so warm and tender will touch that head of hers right now. In the mighty name of Jesus and bring forth healing and deliverance right now. I pray for her family, her mother, her father. And her sister, Lord God, that you will touch them also. You will cover them. You will keep them in perfect peace as their mind be stayed upon you, Jesus. This morning, I commend that family to you. I put Sister Shawna K and her family to you, Lord God. I ask that, Lord, you will bless them. You will touch them, Lord. You will save those children, save her husband. Father God, that they will join her, Lord Jesus, each Sunday as she comes to church. Lord, I pray that you will cover them with your blood. I pray, God, that you will continue to bind the force of darkness around her sons, almighty God. Because there are so many things out there for them. But, Lord, you say, young men, I call upon you because you are strong. I pray, God, that you will save them for your kingdom, almighty God. And I pray that, Lord, your will be done in that family's life. I pray, God, for each and every person inside here, every family, Lord. You know them all by name, by nature. I pray for the Lewis family, the Batchcombe family, the Troy family, Lord Jesus. Oh, God, Sister Sylvia and her family, Lord. Each and every member, the Smichael, Father God, those who are sick, Sister Waters, who is not well. Almighty God, I pray you touch her with a touch, Lord God. That Jesus, you know that, Lord, will heal and deliver her from that sickness that she has. For the past two weeks now, God, I put her in your hands and I ask for a complete deliverance. I ask for a complete breakthrough in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray, God, that you will touch even the man of God. I pray wherever he is, Lord, that you will comfort his heart and you will give him a word straight from home. I pray for Brother Dove as he will be bringing the word this morning. I pray that you will minister through this young man. And I pray that you will keep him and that you will, you will help him, Lord God, to keep his eyes upon you. That he will be hearing from you, Almighty God. I just thank you for those who are, who are watching live stream, Lord. I pray that you will touch their individual problems, Lord. And you will help them, Lord Jesus, that even if they are not saved, they will come to know you as Lord and Savior of their lives. Continue to be with them. Continue to protect them. And as we continue to gather here, Lord God, help us that we will come with a heart of praise, a heart of thanksgiving, a heart of gratitude to know that, God, you have done this for us. And so you are going to continue to fulfill the good work that you have started. 
And so, Lord, today, we just leave today's service in your hands. Whatever is to be said and done, bless the moderator right now. And just lead her in the way you would want her to go. Continue to have thine own sweet way. And every family, Lord, that have forgotten, Lord, you know them by name and by nature. So bless them individually and collectively as we commend this service to you. In the name of the Father and in the name of the Son and in the name of the Holy Spirit. And we just want to tell you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, Deaconess Hobbs. You have someone in heaven. And the Bible tells us the prayer for a righteous man availeth much. We pray and God deliver. God will do the work. We can't do anything. But God is well able and we know he hears and he answers prayer. And we are looking to him for answers for our prayer. God bless you, my sister. Now, at this time, I'm going to call on Sister Anne-Marie to come back. She was here a while ago, but I know she's not tired because I saw a burst of energy in her. I don't know who else saw the burst of energy. Anybody else? All right. Okay. So I'm going to call her to come and bring the welcome. And in the same breath, to remind us of the notices. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Yes. Energy. Thank you, Sister War. You don't understand this type of energy. You know. It's a whole lot. God is good. What a way God people look nice. You know, I can't stand streaming. You know. I have to come into the physical space. My goodness. Come with the self in the physical space. Wow, God people, them look good in a man. Hallelujah. Welcome, welcome, and welcome you the viewers. You're live there watching, and I understand those who are overseas, and you are watching, and we are happy to have you watching with us. And of course, our pastor brother Linval is not Linval, and I don't know why Mrs. Lewis have the LM lineup, but it's Livingston Lewis. Yes, thank you, Sister Sophia, for the prayer. And I know I'll talk to you off the air to pray for Pastor Brother. Yes, that's Livingston Lewis. I see top fan here. It seems to me need to tune into Greater Port more when we have our live stream service. Oh, yes, welcome. And uh, prayer, my daughter, she don't hear Lewis anymore, you know, Mrs. Hemmings. And she's not here in the physical space, this ear infection. And we have a lot to be thankful for because God gave us life. Not true. So you viewers who are overseas, Michelle Lewis, she's not my family, but it's our church family. Praise God. I just know her spot when she's sitting down there. Sister Harolyn Skin, I know she's saying, I wish if I was there to do some praise and worship in the house. Man, she can praise God when she's here. We need to be up here and we are praise God together. Praise the name of the man. Praise God. Yes, Sister Veronica. Yeah, man, she overseas and she tune in. Welcome, Sister Harolyn Skeen. Praise God and Jennifer Sue. Yes, they're overseas people and I have to beat them up. They are watching. Our people, their circumstances beyond our control that we don't know, but there's one that is watching, you know. And I can tell you, Nini, she said she named Heather, but she always been tuning in Esther, always Esther Jones, she's watching with us and all our own members who can't make it, but they're watching. Welcome, 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 welcome. There's somebody anniversary, but I'll soon tell them when I'm going there. Birthday, yeah man, while some people are there, you know, they do some lovely things, but in spite of COVID, we can do things unique, don't it? I don't have on my glasses, but I know for sure. And I'm so happy, you know, to see Sister Joan Calder. Oh my God, come on. You don't know who is Joan Calder, but Joan Calder is in the physical space. Can you stand, my dear sister, and just wave your hand to the people of God in the physical space? Praise the Lord, she's here. Yo, oh, bless the Lord. Give her the welcome, the man. And I'm running down, I'm running down, I'm running down. I'm running. I see a nice, nice. I love my husband and I understand when I say nice, handsome young man. I'm no no joke, none of the business. I see you here. Can you just tell us your name, please? Daman. Daman. 
Come on, welcome Jamal, he's at the front. Handsome young man. He was in there, look nice, and he come up and he just look good. And he yeah, so God, people feel look nice. Yeah, man, can you go party and him just up and him look good. When you come in the house of the Lord, you have to look good and things of him. And everybody else to look pretty. Oh, my nice, beautiful lady over there in white. Can you tell us your name? Ivan Sodalan, greetings and salutation. Yes, welcome, welcome. Yeah, mama, like them thing there. Praise the Lord. Yeah, my eyes working, you know. I'm trying to work it around a new year and the viewers no mind because we're not gonna stretch out the time. I see a nice young lady too. Yeah, man, Eva, I know she sit down beside you. Can you tell us your name, darling? No, look, be, look here. I'm not, I'm not look for myself. I'm not look who nice behind me. Can't be nice, bad. So you see when you hear a nice young lady, don't look left or right. Just look on your body, top and bottom. Don't look on nobody around him. Mm -mm. Can you tell us your name, darling? Danielia. Danielia. Yeah, man, look how you look nice. Don't look left or right, man. Just look up on your body and you look nice. Welcome in the physical space. Praise the Lord. Thank you. You know, I like Brother Taylor in my put certain things in the church. I won't say it on live stream. We'll talk of the year. And he is so attentive to who come in this physical space, whether boy or girl, ladies and gentlemen. And that's good to see nice young ladies. Amen. Praise God. And of course, everyone of my church, sisters and brothers, want to look nice in the new year, you know. You see, want to look nice? Look here, viewers, this is when I watch only overseas people, I understand. And some other persons on the platform. Because my technical manager not in the physical space. And I must stop why I'm not here. It seems like him start to celebrate when I get there, I tell you. But, yeah, man, tell you, you soon get there's a new year. And COVID is gone 2020, you know what will happen for the new year. But of course, is any birthday in the new month of January? The January people understand up, my man. Yes, man. After all, why? Yes, man, sister. Why? Yes. Lord of His tender mercy. You know that's why I tell you I can't watch live stream, but I'm so happy for you. I'm happy that you can stream. You know, if you ever see some beautiful people who stand up who born in this month of January, our own. Pastor Mom can't be here, but she celebrated her birthday on the first of January, and she looked nice. And she said, "Kathleen Hat, you know, Kathleen Hat, yeah, man, Kathleen Hat." So I know we have some beautiful people. Can we sing them Happy Birthday? Praise God! Happy Birthday! Happy Birthday! Happy Birthday to Allah! Happy Birthday! Patwa. So Sister Ava and the visitor and Sister John just cute and something happened for pet is Patricia Carey. You know? Yeah, when I want to talk and call him right, I call it right. Don't it? Praise God. No. The part that I want to quickly talk about because I am so happy our pastor, young man, our pastor is a married officer. You know, some pastor can't marry people, but them share the word. Go on. But you see, our pastor here, Linval Lewis, at this church, him do everything, him qualify for everything. May I tell you, the man qualify. That you know what them say? Them sing some song for him and say, Pastor. Me say, Pastor. I never hear. We love, I don't remember saying next day, I love him so much. We love him. You go and meet him. You hear? I go and make you meet that man if you never meet him. He's a good pastor for this church and him do marry. Now I see some beautiful ladies who is waiting. They don't know what 21 bring because we never know what the COVID will come in. We mash up some people thing, you know. But my daughter did plan it. the COVID or no COVID. If I am from the doorway to our father table, she don't get married. And I'm happy for you, Abigail Lewis. She's been smiling and she said, I'm going to take that. But it's not her anniversary in this month. Those who are having their anniversary in this month, before I tell up some people business, anybody celebrating anniversary in this month? Can you stand? Your brethren? Oh, your brethren, they want to die here. You can't stand up here, brethren. Can your brethren have wife and your feel beautiful wife will sit down there? So you stand up, say that, and you not turn up for him all in a prayer. And we not have prayer for him. Yet. Yes, praise God. So guess what? Um, January. We have 
somebody who absent from church and him don't come to church and you know what him lay down and him laugh and say <laughs> sister Anne Marie she not easy you know it's our own brother Ian Ellis not true him can relax so him not here you know May I tell you, superstar is here too, you know, but he's not here, he's with his wife at this time. You know, God first, and family second, and everything secondary. He love God and him and his wife. They're off. Yes, with their anniversary. I think it's 23 years. They are celebrating 23 years anniversary. Yes. Ah, yes. Did that they are clapping for you, Brother Ellis? You're watching. Say something to the people. They're hailing out and you're relaxing, watching right on the screen and tell them thanks. Praise God. And you know, I have to talk about myself. In case you're not in January, you're in. For December, you're going to enjoy your little anniversary. And she go with you and she just come back fresh and ready for the praise team. That's what we call our place so she'll bless her. But somebody else watching, is it Brother Roshane? Oh my God! Oh! We don't call him Sugar Roshane. On him wife when she have him behind the scene. He's not here in the physical space. But brother Roshian, you know how sister Anne-Marie can go on, you know, when she ready. And I know you're celebrating your anniversary this month. I'm going to tell you something. Love Noreen as how you can love her. And just tune out of your space and all them things. They write something and tell the people, hello. Give him a round of applause. I'm there. But you know what? All who are talking, you know, man, they can't catch me. You know, a visitor, if you never know how many years me married for. And things are going, you know, man. A long time business are going. I tell you, you know, man. Yeah, man. A quick, quick, quick. They are done with a your message, but me a quick come on. <laughs> Who know how many years Pastor Lewis and his wife married? Sorry. My husband is the pastor, you know, let me tell you. I must tell you, it's the first I tell you people who visit him. I am the pastor wife, you know, and I give a lot of trouble in this place. But you know, pastor wife of a radical. And you know what you say? And the church I'm going to come. Don't you? Come in at the church, man. You're so nice in this church. Pastor wife, you look like Taylor show me two fingers. The only time I put up my two fingers, I will tell you off the air. Oh, my Lord. Let me wipe my sweat and you understand. Pastor said, be here when we come from the pulpit. I'm married 13 to January, you know, but it's not 13 years. You know why I like you, Dennis? Because you, you come from Rima, you are pastor. And you see pastor do things long, like them something, and we are come long. But, and then 33, you know. In the married part, the, the more part, go past the 33, man. But this year, I wonder if pastor watching and say, my wife, she don't easy. You know why she don't hurry up and talk and come off at the stage and make the service run? But pastor, I am celebrating 30. One is 31. I know 32 yet, Basco. If I'm married, when is how much fasting? 31. Well, be sure because all the children born in wedlock and I'm here, the mother and father talk in the house. Yes, 31 years. Yes, come on. Yeah, man. Yes, Sister Sophia. Yeah, man. So I say you can't catch me, you was only my best man. And you know the right thing in my in January. And you know, Russian is humble. He waits for January too. And you know, somebody here said them this morning, we don't know what happened. We are only in the third day of January. Yeah, man, we are in the third day of January. And January carry how many days? 31 days. So something good is going to happen the other day. Some ladies dress up in white and tell me this man him say you don't know what happened. Full white, come out, hey, hey, you hear the drum roll, people? I tell you, say the place nice, yeah, man, yeah, man. Oh God, church, nice, church, nice. If you want to them like what go on, so they can go on. And the lady pray don't stand today. So when she get her over, when she done and night him from the crown of the head, pull on the feet. Whoa! I'm not looking behind me. And I'm not looking beside. I'm looking in front for the single people them. Because if God tarry, something good is going to happen. Hallelujah. 
I'm going to behave myself. But I pray. Them not sing the anniversary. I mean, I'm not sing it now, sir. But I must come, come sing the anniversary. Yeah, man. Me not sing to myself alone today. Only when me not my house. Sing the anniversary song for your pastor, wife, and Russian, and Haiti, and who said them soon. They don't marry the who married the Fiduifa. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. So, sometimes we wife get trouble and sometimes the husband ain't get trouble. But God is a good God. God is a good God. So all who are running it, prepare to know that hey, when the test come, you stay put. And you put on blinkers and stay focused because God is able. God is able. So not just 31 and 80, 23 and everything nice and the whole away and all of that. Don't it? But God is good, don't it? Yeah. We have to give God thanks, my people. You see, if I never live stream, I will go on and on. But I have to control my time. Thank you very much for the anniversary. But you know, I heard them say we can't hug. But I understand church people, you know. Come here, Basco. When church people go out, brethren, you listen to me, radical, you know. You see, when the church people them go into the physical space, them do a thing like this. Come on for the new year, go son of man. Hey! Greetings! Hey! I whether you like it or not, so we have to do the greeting. We don't hug up again. Yeah, man! I like that color that, that look good. Then it's not the thing. Yeah, so we greet and thing like that. Here, yeah, when we come down, we get a little thing like this. So here, praise God. And I see, I can't do Spanish, you know. It's not I do Spanish. And I see Dies la Grecia de Dias. I do some in high school. You know, it's watching live stream. Please to put it in English. Amen. She said, Amen. Please, Arahi, put the name there in English so we can understand. Praise God. I'm moving on quickly, quickly, Sister Wan, to the notices. Yeah, man. When church is nice, you know it's nice. And I went quick read nicely. Okay. I come out of that section. That segment when you welcome, because everybody feel welcome a long time. I'm ready for you when brother do. I'm going to put on the word. Yeah. So it's when the word come, nobody look on no time. I saw the thing said, because we preacher in full of life. Yeah, that's all we're doing. Praise God. Anyway, just listen carefully now to the JM notices. The JM convention, nothing no spoil with them. Say Anansi no spoil no dance. No COVID no spoil the convention. If we have credit to roll over and COVID roll over, but we're going to roll him out and make him see say we're going to do some things because we're going to have our convention this year virtual. Zoom, Facebook, like the people in we are watch so Facebook, and they have a thing called. Instagram, that's it. Vashi, I call it correct. Yes, come on stage, you know, so I have to say Instagram. But when I'm home, I spoil the whole world. So we'll be having all those things, yes, for our convention. Yeah, man, we're going to have that. And guess what? We're going to have the opportunity to have the pastor and his wife and two other members in the physical space. Yes, so them not just say the pastor and the wife only. That now will work. Because pastor will work with everybody. But limited space, so we said two. Two well-behaved people will go come and say, Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! And I say, I look in the face. Eh? I joke, mommy. Anyway, they're going to come with their praise on. So we're having that. And we normally do a seed faith offering. Where we give back to the ministry. Oh, yes, God is sending in the people them coming in our church, you know. But we have space, and them no bungle inside here. And we are spaced out, and no people there at church. And if you tell you know how we want, them all on the side in church out, pray out. And church full today. Nothing bungle up in space. Distance. So, you know, nice to have your camper down, you know? And your son, 
Praise God. Glad to have you. Yes. I feel great of the camp of all people there. Yes. So I continue to say we normally do our seed faith offering. And you know, like when Sister K said behind me, you know, she understand the finger move. Praise the Lord. Sister Wall, you're watching my finger? Praise God. So guess what? The seed faith offering is not the envelope she gave me. You know, I soon carry it down to give you. But she gave me something in my hand. Thank you very much, my sister. So it's a thousand dollars they're asking for. But the one thing I love with God, people, you know. You see anything God bless you with? Only from one the thousand dollars you give, not you. Because full measure, press down, shake it together, full and running over. Yes, so we do that for convention. They're only asking for $1,000, but I know you will give more. Praise the Lord. And I continue our morning devotions. My goodness. I wonder if they won't put any ladies on the program. May I talk my brother Roshi in here? You know, it's, we resume on the 11th of January. Not this week, so you still get a break, you know? So we resume our morning devotion from Monday to Saturday morning at 7.30 a.m. We have those devotion time, yeah. So you can tune in on the 11th. We have our devotion. And our Bible study resume. <laughs> I don't understand pastor, but pastor get a speaker for that. If I look on the date and tell you what date it's resume, you would understand that pastor can be the first person to do the Bible study. He normally do that, but not this year, Pastor. If you're hearing me, I cry out, you say we must ball out for help and I'm balling out for help. It's the 13th of January. It begins the Bible study. 7.30 p.m. in the night, Pastor. It's not him, him have dove and him have no people can preach. Give it up for Pastor. I have no speaker. Praise God. And the 13th we resume. Yeah, praise the Lord. Now, this Tuesday at 6.30 p.m., pastor will be meeting with all his deacons, deaconess and deacons. I don't know, but going to talk some things about church. And I am happy to know that pastor will be meeting with the other leaders them on the 12th. That is good. Not on the 13th. Thank God. January 12th, there will be a meeting which includes deacons, auxiliaries, Ministry leaders at 7 p.m. sharp. If you want more clarity, call your pastor, the Reverend Inva Lewis, and he will inform you. And of course, our church service begins 845, a time of prayer. We pray for everything. Every single thing you put to God in prayer. And we begin our Sunday school 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. And we live stream at 10 a.m. to let you see you the rest of the service what is taking place here and i'm leaving the platform now and i want to tell you please maintain your physical distance and do the writing wash your hands wear your mask yes i have mine but i have to talk i can't talk to it i make up all of these nice and you understand so please do all of that sanitize and keep sanitized i don't want to leave a quote with you who are viewing and everybody listen carefully in life, yes, have a friend that is like a mirror and shadow. You never know. Mm -hmm. Mirror doesn't lie and shadow never leaves. You never know. Yeah. So you choose your friend wisely through 21. Whether Christian or what, choose them wisely so they can help you with your ministry. And you know, encourage you, don't it? Say some things that correct you and you know, motivate you because it's not all that is laughter. Sometimes we have to get to a friend of his say, No man, not do it. You're wrong, man. Don't. So I pray that you have a good and godly day. I don't think I'll be coming up here back, so I make use of it. Praise God and hand over back to the moderator. Have a blessed day. And I love you guys so much, so much. Oh, bless God. Praise God. Praise him. Praise Quite a mouthful there from Sister Marie. <laughs> Praise God. She had a twofold task and she really carried on, eh? Quite a mouthful. Anyhow, we want to continue to worship in God by giving. 
I'm going to ask Brother Taylor if he would come up here and give thanks for the offering before it is being collected. And then we proceed to collect the offering. After the, coll the collecting of the offering, we'll have the scripture, which will be read by our sister Shauna K., taken from St. John chapter 14, verses 1 to 6. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord, for this offering that we got collected this morning. The Lord, you made us bless every single person who have to give this morning. Lord, we pray for those who don't have this morning to give. That God, you may bless them at another time, appointed time that they should come give, Lord. Father, we pray, O oh God, that this offering that we got collected will be used to the furtherance of your work and your kingdom. Father, we pray, O oh God, this morning that you may just bless this offering that we got to collect and sanctify it. In Jesus' wonderful and precious name we pray. Amen. 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 We'll sing the chorus, give what you have and the Lord will give you more. He will give you a good measure pressed down and running over, so give unto the Lord. Give what you have and the Lord will give you more. Give what you have. There is something more in store. Give what you have and the Lord will give you more. Give what you have unto the Lord. Good morning, church. Today's scripture lesson is taken from St. John's 14, verses 1 to 6. And it reads, And it reads, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it, if it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself. That where I am, there you may also be. And where I go, you know. And the way you know. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. And how can we know the way? Six and last, Jesus said to him, I am the truth, the, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Here ended a portion of God's holy word. We honor it by saying glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, now and forever shall be, word without end. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. God bless you, my sister. We are continuing our worship. We're going to have a special by our sister Hannah. And after the singing of 
per item, we will have the word from none other than our own brother, Vernon Bromfield. So we'll have the singing of this time, a special by Sister Hannah, which will be followed by the word of God by our own brother, Bromfield. Morning, everyone. Morning. I mean, there's not much to say. I chose a song and I hope it blesses your heart.
this time, I will call on Brother Bromfield to come with the word of God. God bless you as you come, my brother. Praise the Lord. God is good. And all the time. God is good. So today we are happy for this new year. Many would have passed and gone. But we are still alive to give God thanks. And so I wish to use a topic today. A very simple topic. God's special care for the new year. Amen. That's my topic today. God's special care for the new year. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this new year. We thank you, O oh God, for this moment. I pray that, Lord, as I am here at this moment, that you will help me to speak whatsoever you will have me to speak. Lord, I welcome your Holy Spirit in our lives both those who are here in the physical and those who are online. I ask that, Lord, you will guide me at this moment. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Praise God. Praise so, God. this topic is a very simple topic. God's special care for the new year. Amen. If I should ask you a question, do you really believe that God cares? What would be your answer? Do you really believe that God cares? A person might jump from the top of their head and say yes. But you see, this question may have caused many to stumble, many to grumble, because this is a serious question. A story was told of a woman. She was very faithful to God, very committed. She would give and she would live and do everything that God wants that she really see as being right before God and she had a house she was paying for month after month she would pay the mortgage but something happened that one month she could not pay anymore and it happened that probably the next month she could not pay again and it went on and on and as you know what would happen if you fail to pay your mortgage you know what is going to happen when she reached a point, they came for the house. She was a good Christian, but unfortunately, she could not pay her mortgage. And it came to pass that as she was there, they took out her furniture, took out everything out of the house, and put some tape around it. And that woman had, she has two sons. And today, if you go to any of them and tell them about God, they don't want to hear anything. Because they are asking the question, where was God? When her mother was in need of a mortgage payment. Where was God? When she was in need of money to pay for her mortgage. The same God that you cry out and pray about and talk about. Why didn't he show up? When the woman needed money to pay for her mortgage. So this question is not a walkover question. Why so much people are suffering if there is a God? A person may ask, and if you are not careful, the best of us may be troubled at times. When trouble begins to rock us from left to right, we are wondering, where is God? But I'm here to tell you something about God's special care for the new year. In spite of all, I have something to tell you. That God really cares. And we want to focus for the rest of minutes. And God's special care for this new year. Now if you look at this topic carefully. You would have realized that out of all persons in the world. Jesus would be qualified to say that he cares. A person may ask why. Why would you say that Jesus is qualified to be very effective as a person who cares. Let me tell you why. Jesus was here. Amen. Can you believe that Jesus was here? Jesus was here as a human being. You see, it is one thing, you know, when you can stay somewhere and try to tell somebody about your life. 
But it is something when you come down to their level and you feel what they felt and you know what they are going through. The Bible said we have not a high priest which cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities. But in all points he was tempted as we were yet without sin. And so of course my wonder how comes Jesus went through all that I went through? Do you believe that Jesus go through all that he went through? A person might ask, no, sir, that not look logical. Because no vehicle never devote when Jesus devote. So that means you can't say, Jesus is me, that's it. A person might say, no, that not add up. But let me show you something. There are three categories of sin. And Jesus has been through all three categories. The loss of the flesh. He knows what it is like to be tempted when it comes on to the loss of the flesh. So it may not be the exact type of temptation. But he knows how all three categories feel. He knows what it feels like to experience the loss of the eye. He knows what it, is, what it feels like to experience the pride of life. So Jesus would have went through all three categories of temptation that any human being would have been able to go through. And so Jesus is very fitting to empathize with us. When we are struggling, Jesus knows what it is like when somebody betrays you. Jesus knows what it is like when somebody forsakes you. Jesus knows what it is like to be hungry, to be tired, to be beaten, to suffer. Jesus is very perfect as our great high priest. And so, because of that reason, he is able to effectively minister unto us and show us special care. St. John 14 verse 1 the scripture was read by our sister. Verse 1 said, let not your heart be troubled. You see my brothers and sisters, that verse itself, it carries a lot of weight. Because guess what? It's not any and anybody can tell you, say, don't worry man. Some persons may say that but how true are they? Have you ever signed to be a guarantor before? And the person said to you, Don't worry, because I will pay my loan. All I need you to do is just sign for me. And you go and you sign, and the person is absent. When the payment is supposed to pay, the person is not there, and the guarantor is troubled because the person did not keep their promise. You must have heard of situation. Our dear mighty persons know who might have been through that. Yes, but guess what? I am happy that Jesus is not like those persons. Jesus is true to his words. He said, let not your heart be troubled. COVID or no COVID. Let not your hearts be troubled. Whatever comes, he is able to over, to help you. He said, look here man. You see, before Jesus went away, he said, look here man. In this world, you shall have tribulation. But in me, you shall have peace. He said, cheer up, for I have overcome the world. You see, my brothers and sisters, as Christians, we may not be able to pray that all troubles will go away. Because Jesus promised that in this world, there shall be tribulation. So even if you pray 35 hours, 24 hours, you still have trouble to face because Jesus promised that in this world you shall have tribulation and so we may not be able to escape all troubles but the only good thing Jesus said that in me you shall have peace and he looked at his disciples and he said look here man let not your hearts be troubled as you know, Jesus was there walking with his disciples, working miracles, healing sick, raising dead, casting out devils. And it came to a point where it was coming on to his death. And it is a sad point to know that the shepherd is going away from his sheep. And you know it would, must have been hard to know that you have your master who came. And when you look, you heard that he's going to be crucified. But when Jesus saw everything and saw what the, the disciples were facing, he saw their frustration, he saw what they were feeling, he said, look here man, let not your hearts be troubled. Verse 2, 
It said, in my father's house are many mansions. Amen. He said, he believe in God, believe it also in me. Amen. You see, my brothers and sisters, when you look at this text carefully, let us go to the text. St. John 14. Let us go to the text. I don't want to miss anything. It's about six verses. When you look at this text carefully, you will have realized the weight. Verse 2, right. So I was quoting verse 2 wrong. So verse 2 said, In my father's house are many mansions. Well, at the first, I quoted wrong. I said that, um, what I said first? He believed in God? Or I quoted right? Okay. Verse 2 said, In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. You see, my brothers and sisters, when you look at these verses carefully, how many of us have been promised? You must have heard of the story where this young lady, she met a man and she went into the country with the, with the man. And while they were traveling in the country, the man said, all these are mine. All these are mine. When he looked, he saw a piece of land which was rich and nice. And the man said to the woman, all these are mine. When they drove down a little bit more, he said to the woman, also, all these are mine. And they drove down when the time came and the woman got married. The woman said, so where is the land? Where is the property? Where is all these things that you said that you had? The man said to the woman, look here man, you're not paying attention, you know. I was talking the fingers on my hand. All these are mine. All these are mine. But thank God that God is not like that man. You see what God, what Jesus said, you know. He said, look here, man. In my father's house are many mansions. He said, if it were not so, I would have told you. You see, God's words, it's true and sure. And so Jesus promised that, look here, man. There is a place prepared for every believer. And so it goes back to my topic. God's special care for the new year. You see, there are two parts to it, you know. As a Christian, you have the eternal blessings. And you also have the earthly blessings. Yes. At all times, we should always bear in mind that it does matter what happened, there is a place prepared for us. Hallelujah. So even though a Christian might catch COVID, a pastor might catch COVID, and a man might say, oh my gosh, then why would God allow a Christian to catch COVID? Why would, but guess what? Didn't you remember the promise? I go to prepare a place for you. You cannot go there the same way. Amen. You have to die or change. You cannot. The Bible said that flesh and blood shall not inherit the kingdom of God. So guess what? When a COVID take you, something has to take you out. So that you will go where Jesus is. And so it doesn't matter what happened. There is a place prepared for you. And so we, we have to remember that promise. And so we, if we don't remember that promise, you know, and start to think only of the earthly things. We're in trouble. Because if you love your life, you shall lose it. And so you will be flexible with God. Because when God ready, the Bible said there is appointed time unto man. The, the, it is appointed unto man once to die. Amen. And so he said that in my father's house of many mansions, according to the translation, it means dwelling place. Amen. And so, you know, sometimes you might go to stay with somebody and they might not have enough room for you. And it may reach a point where the place I get chopped up. And the person might give you some notice and said, boy, you know that the room, we cannot keep you longer. You know? Boy, I, you asked me to stay, spend two weeks with me. You know, but boy, it is now four months. I am going to ask you to try and get somewhere to go and live. You know? And a person might begin to tell you that you have to go. You have to pack your things and go. But thank God there is a day coming when the Bible said, in my father's house, I have many mansions. So you don't have to worry about somewhere to stay. Because there is a place that Jesus prepared for all those who are saved. And so there is a special care for all of us. But there is a condition that is applied. Before you can benefit 
you must be a member. Amen? Amen. If you are not a member, there are some benefits you will never get in this world and also in the spiritual kingdom. Before you can benefit from this here, you must be a member by accepting the Lord as your personal senior. If you don't do that, a member, a non-member cannot get this privilege. And so even when you go on Facebook, when you go on some form of website, the first thing they might ask you, log in or sign up. If you are not able to log in, that means you need to sign up. And so my question I need to ask, are you able to log in today? Or you need to sign up. Amen. You have to ask yourself this question. Are you able to log in? Or you need to sign up. It's either either or higher. If you don't sign up with Facebook, you cannot log in. You have to log, you have to sign up. Put in your name and whatever requirements. And that does not go only for Facebook. But if you check right across social media, you have to sign up or log in. My brothers and sisters, don't let the time catch up. And you don't sign up. Because if you don't sign up, you will not be able to log in. And at that time, it is going to be too late. Amen. And so Jesus said, I go to prepare a place for you. He said, the way you know. Thomas said, where is What are they? How can we know the way? Jesus said, look here, man. I am the way. The truth and the life. No man comment unto the Father but by me. You see, my brothers and sisters, the gospel is very straightforward. All we need to do is just go to Jesus and he will take us to the Father. There's no confusion about it. You don't need to try. You see, the gospel is not like going to St. Thomas. When you're going to St. Thomas, you can go to downtown and you can go up to St. Thomas side for those who drive. Amen. And so, the gospel is not like that. You have to go to Jesus. The only way you can reach your father is by going to Jesus. You cannot find any other way. And so I am very much concerned. If I go to a church as long as they believe in Jesus, I can find a place to worship with them. But I, am, I will be very concerned if I found out that they don't believe in Jesus. Because if you don't believe in Jesus, my question is, what are you doing? And where are you going? Because Jesus said, look here man, I am the way, the truth, and the life. So if you don't believe in Jesus, that means you are lost. And so any church that a person, that the person believe in Jesus, then that means all of us have a common denominator. And it should be able, we should be able to join with any church. And so if I go to a church and everybody worshiping Jesus, even though the church might not believe certain other things, but the fact that we all believe in Jesus, we are brothers and sisters. So not because your church don't wear pants. I'm a call and I said, brother, God, can we pray together? You don't have to turn me down. Because guess what? We still believe in Jesus Christ. And that is what really matters. It is not what you wear. It is not what you do additionally. But the most important thing is that we all believe in Jesus Christ. And as I look at this topic, God special care for the new year. A person might ask, why would you say God really care? Do you know that God does not want anyone to perish? The Bible said in 1 Peter, 2 Peter 3 verse 9, that the Lord is slow, is not slow, sorry, in keeping his promise. As some understand slowness. Instead, he is patient with you. Not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. A person might be wondering, how them say God come and God no comment. But my question is, if God should have come long time ago, where would your soul be today? And so we have to give God thanks that He did not show up already. Because guess what? Even though it might be difficult. But guess what? When God delays, more souls can get a chance. And so God is not willing that any should perish. No. But that all should come to repentance. So even though a person might begin to mock and say that a long time they say Jesus has come. But he not come. But my question is, is there an advantage? 
when God delays is coming. Because guess what? Of a truth, there is an advantage because many more souls can be saved. And this gospel must reach over all the world before the end comes. And so we have to take these things carefully. A person might ask another question. Why would you say that God cares for this new year? First Peter chapter 5 verse 7. It says cause all your anxiety. In the King James Version. It says cause all your cares upon him. For he cares for you. A story was told of a woman. Who beg a jive in a man van back. The woman jumped in the man van back. But guess what the woman had? The woman had a load. A basket or something on her head. And the man stopped the van. And said come on come. The lady jumped up in the van back. And sat down. But guess what the lady did? She still had the load on her head. The woman said that she did not want to pressure the man van. You know? So guess what? She kept the load on her head. And so she keep on driving with the load. You know? Driving with the load. But guess what? We don't want to be like that lady. God said, cast all your tears upon me. For I care for you. Amen. And my question is, what tears do you have for this new year? Is there anything troubling you from last year? And you're wondering what to do. The Bible said, cast all your tears upon him. And I'm going to give you a little formula. How you can cast your tears upon him. I'm going to give you a formula. Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 to 7. According to the NLT version, the New Living Translation, I like how they break it down simple for us. Brother, it's one version of the Bible. If you're not so good by understanding the Bible, you can use it. Yeah, man, you can try and use it. Listen what the NLT tell you. He said, look here, man. Philippians 4, from verse 6 to 7. He said, do not worry about anything. Instead, Pray about everything. What a formula strong. Do you think you can do that for this new year? Do not worry about anything. But instead, pray about everything. It may take some, a certain amount of sacrifice. But can we do that? Do you think we are able? Instead of worrying about everything, we turn it into a prayer. Yes. So instead of saying, Lord God, I will never know. We say, oh God, help me now. So you change the flow like a rapper. And you change it and you pray instead of worrying. And so the Bible said, do not worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. The next part says, tell God what you need. And then now, you see, after you tell God what you need, whether car, house or whatever, spiritual blessing, after you tell God what you need, guess what you do now? You thank him for all that he has done. A person might say, oh, thank him. Oh, me need to thank him too. There is something about Thanksgiving. Yes. A story was told of a man who was about to hang himself. You probably would have heard it. The man was about to kill himself. He had the last banana. And he jumped up in the tree. And he took the banana. And he hit the banana. And he was about to hang himself. And he threw the banana down. And as he threw it down, a man was coming. He dropped the banana skin. And he hit it. And the man cancelled his suicide. Because he realized that there was another man who was in a worse position than him. So while you ask God for something, you balance it by also giving him thanks for what he has done. You see, when you do that, hear what the Bible said now. That's a formula, you know. After you do that, hear what the Bible said. Then you will experience God's peace. Can we look at the family again? The first thing you do, don't worry about anything. But you pray about everything. After you're done praying on, ask God. You tell God what you want. See? You thank him for what he has done. Because there is always something that God has done. It doesn't matter how small it is. There is always something. And when you do that now, hear what the Bible said now. Then you will experience God's Peace, which exceeds everything we can understand. And then now, listen what happened with this peace now. This is not just a normal peace now. We tell people we tap in eyes and they tap in eyes. No man, this peace is more than that. 
We like talking about when man a fire shot. And then them say, oh, we'll stop the war now, stop the war. We'll, we'll fight too much. And then after a while now, you hear say, such and such community, stop fire shot. Then after a couple more months, you hear, blow, 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 blow. We're not talking about that type of peace. We are talking about a supernatural peace. This is what the peace said. God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. It's a special type of peace that pass all understanding. And so, that is the formula I want to leave with you today. I'm not going to draw it out any longer. My brothers and sisters, as we go through this new year, let us remember God's special care and embrace it and allow it to keep us through the rest of the year so that we will live a life stress-free and experience his peace. God bless you. Thank God for his word. The word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. And he has used his servant mightily. Who don't receive a blessing from the word today? Need to examine yourself. The word went forth so freely with power and authority. And you know, I just pray that God will continue to bless this young man as he avails himself to the Lord. There is much more to be seen in him. He is an instrument of God. God's humble servant. God is really doing a great thing in his life. And you don't have to ask. You don't have to feel. You can see it. God has manifested himself in him. And we bless God for the word today. And you know, Jesus cares. In my father's house are many mansions. Jesus promised to take care of us. But there's one thing, you know, that I like a little clause. Are we able to log in? If we can't log in, we need to sign up to get all this blessing from God. Eh? If we can't log in, we must sign up. And 2021 is a good way to start out, you know, if you're not signed up as yet, to sign up. So I'm going to just close in prayer now and ask God's blessing upon everyone as we go. Father, I thank you for your blessings today. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for ministering to us. Your word, God, was like strength to our bones. We give you thanks, Heavenly Father, for your servant whom you have used in such a mighty way. God, continue to overshadow him. Continue, God, to be his source and his strength, his everlasting portion. And even as he emptied today, God, I pray to fill him up again. I pray, my God, that you will revitalize him. I pray to energize him once more, Heavenly Father. I pray, oh God, to supply all his needs according to your riches in glory. You promise God to take care of your own. And Lord, you know him. You know his uprising and his downsetting. His downsetting. I just bless you for him today, oh God. And for all of us who are gathered here. And for those who viewed on Facebook, Lord, I thank you for them. And I pray, oh God, that you will bless us abundantly, God. And help us to be in your will. If there's one thing you want for this year, oh God, is to be in the will of God. Not so much what we want, Father, but what you will for us. So help us, Heavenly Father, to be able to log in. Or if not, let us sign up, Heavenly Father, and be in touch with you and hear from heaven. Some say we need to hear from you. God, we need a word from you. If we don't hear from you, what will we do? So we look to you, oh God, as we go, that you go before us. And you lead the way, Heavenly Father. Take us to our several homes in safety, we pray. And we give you thanks for hearing us now and for answering us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now unto him who is able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before his throne with exceeding great joy, the only wise God be glory, honor, majesty, dominion, and power, both now and forevermore. Amen. 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 Thank you.